Thank you, Tommy. It's Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Sid Phillips. He is the senior pastor at Grace Bible Church in Mobile. Thank you for joining us this morning, sir. Thank you for having me. We wanted to talk about mission work this morning. Could you describe for us the mission work you and maybe your congregation are involved in? Well, actually, uh, this week we're having a mission conference in our church, and we gather together with several other churches and invite missionaries to come in and who are trying to raise support and uh, hear what they have to say and 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 so that's very helpful to the people to see what else is going on in the world in the Christian faith. Talk to us specifically about the mission work that, that you do. Where have you gone? Uh, well last year at this time I went to uh, Kenya, uh, Africa and I taught uh, uh, students there in an institute, uh, KMTI, and uh, had 45 students, and in Africa, uh, the church is growing so fast. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's just amazing. There's a great revival going on in the Christian faith in, in Africa, but the, the pastors have never been trained in, as far as what the Bible teaches, and so I went in there and taught on different topics uh, concerning the, uh, the Christian faith. When we were talking about this topic earlier, you said that people are still close to God despite poverty. And why do you think that is? Uh, well, of course, if you've never had something, uh, you don't know what it is to, to not have it. And those people, uh, I've, I found, are, are poor, but they're, they're rich in Christ. Their, their faith in God is real. And as Paul said, uh, whatever state you find yourself in, to be content. Mm -hmm. And these people are content with Christ. And it, it shows on their faces and uh, their givers. They gave me gifts that they couldn't afford because they make two, two or three dollars to five dollars a day, and they were buying me fifty dollar gifts. And I'm I'm just amazed at their giving and their love uh, for uh, for Christ. Talk to us a little bit about the community in that area of Kenya where you did your mission work. How has that community changed as a result of that work? Uh, well, again, these, these pastors are trained, uh, and they're trained in how to live. If you uh, know how to live, you can make a living. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, over there, uh, I, I preached in a church of about 400 people, and I preached on uh, the husband's responsibilities to the wife. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loves the church. And so uh, it was exciting to see those men realize that they're the head of the home, but first of all, they're the servant in the home. And I asked the, the men there who would uh, go home this afternoon and wash their wives' feet. Mm -hmm. and, and just about every one of them said they would. And the pastor that was translating mm -hmm. into Swahili said, and they will too, they mean it. So well, We talk about this mission work as, as being a gift, but it also can be sometimes dangerous. In, in uh, what ways is it dangerous? You sometimes could encounter unstable governments or even governments that might be hostile to Christianity. Yeah, and of course, some uh, countries uh, in certain faiths will not let you come in and preach mm -hmm. the gospel of Christ. And if you go in and preach, then you'll be put in jail. But over there in Kenya particularly, I found, uh, I, I felt so safe, uh, even in the streets where there's just thousands of people around you, milling around, and they're friendly, and I didn't feel threatened at all in, in Nakuru and mm -hmm. Katali and Nairobi either. I mean, it was just really uh, a wonderful uh, experience. In one sentence, how would you kind of wrap up the most important lesson that you've learned through this? Uh, well, I, I grew up, of course, like most pe kids in America with everything and more than I needed. Mm -hmm. And so when I went over there and saw the poverty that these people had, that they, they had very little or nothing, I came back home and one of the first things I said to the church, I said, I should never, ever, ever uh, say that uh, uh, I'm in need. Mm -hmm. You know, I never should complain about anything again. Excellent way to <laughs> get perspective on these mission trips. We're joined by Sid Phillips, the senior pastor at Grace Bible Church this morning in Mobile. Thank you for joining us, and News 5 this morning will continue after the break. Mm -hmm.